I'm gonna share with you the best tips for new YouTubers who wanna grow on YouTube. And really, this same information applies to a channel regardless if you're new or not. But here's the thing, what I'm getting ready to share with you helped me get over 100,000 subscribers in 12 months. So you're gonna wanna watch this entire video, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, before we get into this, I'm going to tell you that this video is only for people that are serious about growing here on YouTube. If you're not interested in growing your channel, then you might wanna watch this video right up here instead. Number one, learning how to rank your videos in search is typically how you get a channel off of the ground. However, it's also extremely important when you're titling your videos and when you're making your thumbnails that you also keep suggested videos and you also keep the browse features of YouTube in mind. What I mean by that is not only making titles simply for the sake of ranking in search, but for ranking in search and that makes people actually wanna click on the title or the thumbnail itself. As an example, how to tie a tie might win in search. However, if you make a video titled the best way to tie a tie or 10 ways to tie a tie in under two minutes, then those are also extremely clickable inside of the suggested features on the home pages and so on, in addition to being discoverable in search. That allows you to take advantage of the search features and the suggested and the browse features instead of just going after search by itself. Number two, keep in mind when you're putting your content strategy together and you're trying to figure out where it is that you're gonna put your videos and all that stuff, that you, one, try to rank on YouTube because it's the second largest search engine on the planet, and number two, you also try to rank on Google, who is the first largest search engine on the planet. So in addition to doing the research to rank your videos on YouTube, also use the Google Keyword Planner and try to think of how you can work in some of that information as well to try to rank your videos on Google. Because if you can rank on Google, there's also a really good chance that you're gonna be ranking on the other search engines as well. So you're not only pulling in YouTube traffic, but you're also pulling in traffic from all of these other sources. Nobody really talks about that, but it's extremely important that you keep all of that in mind because instead of just pulling from one place, you're pulling traffic from all over the place. And it can make a pretty big difference. Number three, if you're having trouble ranking your videos in YouTube, a way that you can kind of come in the back door, so to speak, is you can actually share your post to Google Plus and then you can make a post in Google Plus because Google Plus posts, it's like a tongue twister, can also rank inside of Google and the other search engines. Now, if you wanna take this a step further, you can also make full posts on medium.com. You can also make full posts on blogger.com. You can also make full posts on your own website where you embed your video and you can increase your chances of people discovering your content by doing that as well. And again, the whole idea here is increasing your chances of discovery so you can get the traction, you can get that initial momentum that's gonna help your channel grow. Number four, spend as much time as you have to on your thumbnails. Thumbnails are extremely important. You know this already. Try to avoid the thinking of, meh, I'll just whip this one together real quick. It's not a big deal. Instead, look at it. Say, if this came up in search, would I click on this? Is this something that would interest me? I mean, look, thumbnails are arguably the most important thing on YouTube because if your thumbnails are not getting clicked, nobody's watching, nobody's viewing your stuff, nobody's subscribing to your channel, therefore you're not growing. You can have the best content in the world, but if nobody's clicking on your video, nobody's gonna know. The easy way to make an effective thumbnail is to keep everything simple, use big bold fonts, use color, and use colors that are complementary or contrasting to each other. Use imagery that stands out and most importantly, test. TubeBuddy has a feature for this, an A-B testing feature. If you don't know what TubeBuddy is, I've got a link to it down in the description. If you already have TubeBuddy, make sure that you're on the plan that allows you to A-B test your thumbnails because you can guess or you can know specifically how people are responding to your content. Number five, involve yourself in communities. This can pay off big. Networking and collaborating with other YouTubers can be a fantastic way to get yourself out there. In addition to that, joining communities around the topics that you talk about can get you known as somebody in that space. People really underestimate the value of community, but in reality, community is possibly one of the really easy ways to grow a channel here on YouTube. Number six, when coming up with video ideas, make sure they're search friendly. Make sure that you're making content that people can actually search for. That helps your discoverability, which increases your chances of growth here on YouTube. Because if people are discovering your content, they're watching your videos, they like them, they're more likely to subscribe to your channel and they're more likely to keep finding you again and again when they're searching around for topics that you happen to talk about. If you're a vlogger, for example, pick something about your day, something that happened in your day and optimize around that. Even if you have to go local and just make a video about, you know, hey, this is our local library or, you know, something like that, 
do that. On the Business of Video podcast that I do with my buddy Owen Video, a link to that is down in the description below. We interviewed Jeff from The Weiss Life. It's a family vlogging channel here on YouTube. I'll link to them down in the description as well. And one of the things that he was saying that helped him grow was optimizing their videos for search as well. Number seven, make a plan, make benchmarks, and adjust accordingly. Sounds pretty easy, right? That plan should include the type of content that you're gonna make, the type of playlist that you're gonna make, what it is that you want out of YouTube in the first place, the series that you're gonna put your playlists into, and this part here is really important, the purpose for each video that you are making. Why are you making that video? What are you wanting that video to do for you? What are you wanting that video to do for your audience? What is it that you're making and why are you making it? Map it out. Trust me, the time that you're gonna put in now doing some of this stuff, it's worth it. Number eight, experiment and be willing to make adjustments. Maybe your on-camera personality needs a little bit of work and you should be using like imagery or stock photos or animations or, you know, doing tutorials or something like that. Or maybe your videos that are animations, that are stock footage, that are tutorials, Maybe you need to put yourself in there, introduce the content, you know, kind of break it up a little bit. Here's a little bit of the tutorial. Hey, here's me talking about it. Here's more of the tutorial. And here's more of me talking about it. You get the idea and don't be afraid to experiment. Every aspect of your videos, every aspect of what it is that you're doing, don't be afraid to experiment. Experimentation is really the only way to find out what really works and what doesn't. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. If you can handle the workload, grow multiple social media outlets simultaneously. I wish that I would have done that when I started and I didn't and I regret it. If I had, I could be sending a lot more traffic to my channel than what I normally send. So spreading out just a little bit, it's a good idea. Number 10, make great content. If you follow everything that I said in this video, plus you make great content, you can't lose. If you're a new YouTuber or if you're somebody that's had a channel for a while, start right now. Start taking the stuff seriously, it matters. I'll put a link up here as well to another video that's gonna share 10 more tips for new YouTubers. So make sure that you go and check that out right now. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.